There's big change in the air in America. What's going on in places like this, they say, just like the end of prohibition. When the people of Colorado voted to legalize cannabis, it opened the way for Amsterdam-style coffee shops. This is the first, and customers see it as a milestone moment. It's historical. It's trailblazing, I believe. I mean, I don't think, th there's no way it can go back. No way. It's been voted in. They are nervy, though, because the politicians are still trying to figure out how to implement what's called Amendment 64. When they do, anyone over 21 will be able to buy legally. I would say just it's time to get over it. We've had these biases in our culture for centuries or decades. They've impacted people's lives horribly and negatively. Um, and it's time to move past that. It's time to evolve. So my saying to them is get over it. At the moment, only licensed medical users carrying what's called the red card can buy cannabis from dispensaries like this one, Medicine Man. But out the back, the future. Mass cannabis production. This is one of our grow rooms, and this is where the money's made. As soon as the system is harvested, we clean the table, we disinfect everything, more plants go right back in. After a plant has grown, we cut it down and we hang it up. And this is the bud, so this is actually the, the profitable part of the plant that is sold to patients for their, whatever medical need they had. Andy Williams has invested hundreds of thousands in high-tech, industrial-scale growing, a cash crop of nearly 4,000 plants and construction work to expand it all by a third. But it really hasn't hurt anything. I mean, we don't see a skyrocket in terms of our kids using it. We don't see lots of people getting in accidents on the highway because we don't see any negative effect. But we are seeing jobs, we are seeing taxes, we are seeing all kinds of good things that have come out of this. So let's just take the curtain off of this and say what it is. It's recreational. It is highly profitable, both for the producers and the states collecting much needed tax revenue. But here's the thing. While the state of Colorado has legalized marijuana, nationally, technically, it's still illegal. And while they haven't solved that problem, here's another one. There are parts of Colorado where they won't legalize. Douglas County has passed its own law banning cannabis-related commerce, one of a number of so-called dry counties here. There are too many unanswered questions about uh, the safety of this particular product, uh, how it's distributed, how it's packaged, how it's grown. Even he accepts that countrywide legalization is probably now inevitable. Voters in Colorado and in Washington State too have signaled a shift in American attitudes, and it seems there's no going back. Greg Milam, Sky News, Colorado.